Hello, this is Dr. Dave Gatros, continuing on with our lessons on QT Spam and MIPS assembly. What I want to do here is to write another little short program that uh, adds two numbers together. Now, I'm not going to read any numbers in, I'm just going to print them out. Um, so, uh, I, I'm not going to print a message out to read numbers in, so I'm just going to load them into uh, registers and add them and then print the message out. So, the message I'm going to print out is the uh, numbers um, 10 and 20 added together are and we'll print that message out alright so let's do our program we've got our text which is our source code start our global main which is the entry point to our program I don't normally put code on the same line as uh, labels but you can I just don't normally do it so the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load uh, numbers into registers. I'm going to say load immediate and dollar sign. Uh, we'll pick uh, temporary one, uh, T1. <coughs> hey, we'll load the number 10 into that. That uh, This loads the uh, number 10 in uh, dollar sign uh, T1. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to load immediate in dollar sign uh, T2 number 20 and put that comment out here loads uh, the number 20 into uh, T2 let me go up there and make sure my English is consistent anyway All right, very good now I'm going to add them together now the add works like this I'm going to say add okay dollar sign T1 dollar sign T1 and dollar sign T2 okay um, the way the ad works it requires this particular version requires three registers okay so what this does is it takes uh, uh, the contents of T1 and T2 and puts it back into T1 so we'll just actually annotate that by this this is the way it works so it's a very right to left kind of thing so now the answer of the two is located into T1 well, okay, so we've got the answer. Now we need to print out the message and then print the answer out. And we look at the previous videos on how to read in numbers and print out numbers and, and print out uh, strings. You'll see the explanation for this. We have to tell syscall to uh, read in or to print out a string. So we're going to say 4. Okay, let me put that comment up there. Okay, print out a string. You load the address. We have to give it the address of the string, which is uh, message one. Get address of string, and then syscall actually performs the job of printing the string. Now we have to uh, print the number. Okay, so we do that by saying load immediate uh, v zero with five. That's to um, uh, no, that's one, excuse me, one, I'm confused, tells syscall to print a number. We have to move the number into A0. It's sitting into, it is sitting in T1 right now. Move number to A0 and actually execute it. <coughs> Alright, now let's see if we made any errors. Let's save this. We're going to save it as, say, sample program. That's what we've called it, sample program. Alright, and that's what all our programs will be called right now. We'll go in here to simulator, file, reinitialize and load file. And we'll go down to find our sample program. Sample program right there didn't get any assembly errors it would have come up right then if they had we'll say simulator run and continue and the numbers 10 and 20 added together are 30 so that's how you do the add okay now <clears throat> what about subtract let's do a subtract all right same program okay we'll just change our commented comments uh, and our um, uh, comments and our um, uh, string up here We'll say 10 minus, uh, uh, we'll say 20 minus 10 is equal to, 
and then we'll leave that like it is. Uh, we'll say uh, put uh, 10 right here. We'll put uh, those with 10 and 20, and we'll switch these around. We'll say subtract, subtract, and we'll switch these two around. We'll say uh, T2 is first dollar sign T2, and then dollar sign T1, and then we'll change our comments right here to match that. T2 minus dollar sign T1, so that is 20 minus 10, all right, and it puts the answer into T1, which is okay. We're going to print out our string, which is the numbers that 20 minus 10 is equal to. So we should be okay. So that's how you do a subtract. Very, very similar to an add. Uh, in fact, almost identical. We'll save our program. Okay. And then we'll run it. Go over here and say File. Reinitialize and load. We'll go down and pick our sample program. No assembly errors right there. We'll say run. And we'll say, well, okay, 20 minus 10 is equal to 10. So I did the calculation correctly. Well, this is how you do addition and subtraction in MIPS. So very, very simple. Um, we'll talk about, uh, in later videos, we'll talk about using uh, add and subtract immediately, where the second operand, the replacement for this T1, is actually a number that we place right there. Uh, sometimes we know what that number is going to be, and we just put it in the instruction itself. Very, very fast way to do it. Anyway, play this video as many times as you need, and uh, we'll on to the next one. We're going to do multiplication and division next.